735 on this Wednesday. I want to welcome to microphone number two our Mayor Joe Dillard. Hey, sir. Good morning, Dale. Hey. Hope you're having a great day. Yeah, good. It's it's a good day. We're sitting here drinking this brute awakening coffee and uh, having stuff. a good time. You bet. Yeah. So how you been? Well, sir, been busy. Uh, ex- you know, City Hall, uh, Mountain Home City Hall, uh, we stay pretty busy, and but that's the way it should be. And uh, we have a uh, we have people coming and going nearly all day long, and uh, just dealing with uh, situations uh, inside the city. That's and, good. You know, uh, I tell people. Uh, if they see me out in the city, I'm out actually looking at uh, driving, looking. I think that's part of my job. And uh, well, uh, most yeah. of the problems are not in City Hall. They're out inside the city somewhere. So uh, I'm a, I'm one that believes in getting out and trying to uh, And that's look. a good thing. You know, I, it shows you're, you're active, you're interested, and you're not just waiting for a problem to be set down on your desk. Well, you know, if we can be proactive in some areas, uh, then... Uh, that uh, that mitigates problems later on. And if I see things, uh, I know uh, it's getting the time for the the leaves are starting to fall. And uh, and I'm glad uh, you brought that up because <laughs> it's getting dry out there. Well, you know what? Yeah, and we need to talk about that a minute. Maybe uh, it it is dry. The conditions are extremely uh, uh, bad. If you're going to try to do any burning or anything inside the city, we actually have uh, uh, people can burn as long as they call and get permission. And I don't think anybody would be getting permission probably as dry as it is uh, uh, now or in the yeah. near future at least. But uh, Before we went on the air here, I, I told the mayor, I said I mulched some leaves last night, and I noticed it's just pretty dry, and it's just to the point where, you know, even if a spark off the exhaust or somebody drops a cigarette or something, you know, it could cause an issue right now. Well, yeah. it could, and, and we, don't, we don't want that if we can prevent it, and we just— uh, I encourage everyone just stop and think before we uh, uh, and call, do any burning. They call uh, the non-emergency fire department number for who do they call for that permission to burn? They would call the non-emergency fire uh, 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 number. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't have that right on the tip I of my tongue. I think it's 2611, but I'll check that. But uh-huh. anyway, uh, you know, that is put in place just to uh, so that uh, we know what's going on uh, if, if it's. But this is not a good time of the year right now no. until we get some r- fall rains, and hopefully we'll be getting those uh, somewhere in the near future. But uh, uh, the other, th- uh, Dale, I just wanted to also, uh, you know, talk to you and, and the people and a little bit about uh, safety uh, up and down our streets. Uh, I know school's been going on now for uh, over a month, and or about a month, mm-hmm. and uh so far, we've had it's it's worked out pretty good. There's been there's been a lot of congestion in in certain areas, but uh, I just want to thank the people out there for being considerate and uh, making sure our kids are safe and and don't get hurt. Uh, you know, that's uh, I think with the people out doing the construction work and uh, all of us, uh, that's our number one objective is to try to make sure the kids don't uh, we don't put them in any more danger than they have to be. And, you know, with the massive amount of construction you've got on what we still call 201 South, or soon be South College Street, you mm-hmm. know, y'all done a fantastic job keeping the issues at a minimum, if any. Well, the, uh, thank you. The, the contractor, uh, uh, Mountain Home Concrete, uh, is, is the contractor on that job, and, and they know our area. They, you know, they, the job ends about a quarter of a mile from their, where their business is, and so I think that is really a, bit, a big plus in uh, getting a local contractor. Uh, for that reason, that would be reason enough alone just to so that they know the patterns and they know our people and they know. Uh, and plus, uh, we like to see that uh, those dollars stay in Mountain Home and turn over here uh, in Mountain Home. So Yeah, I just got a text here. Uh, Rick Williamson, part of Northeast Lakeside uh, Fire Department, said the, the non-emergency number 425-2611. Okay. Yeah. For the Burma. Thanks, Rick. Hey, thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man. <laughs> Get our network of workers going here. That's point. right. You know, one farmer picks up for the other one, and <laughs> and I should have had that number uh, with me, but I, uh, I apologize for not having it. But anyway, uh, the construction area is it's it's going it's going good. Uh, I think they've done a great job so yeah. far. Is you know it's uh, and if you look and look back at the time they started and. Uh, the number of days they've actually been working. They've had good work days, and that's a plus. You yeah. know, not yeah. a lot of rain. <laughs> and something I've noticed 
it, I've driven this route millions of times coming south on College Street. So you're going past Ponders, you're going south, you pass uh, Shelter Insurance, you keep going south. Just as you approach the stoplight, like you're going on south to it, you can see the mountains all the way down to the river, you know, because the tree yep. line's been yep. cleared a little bit and, and the lines have been moved a little bit. So you can see the river line all the way down. Have you noticed that? Well, yes, sir. And uh, and uh, I didn't know what I was looking at hardly, I didn't uh, you know, when, when I first seen it. But <laughs> after all that, uh, up on the uh, up on the north end of the project, uh, uh -huh. which is the area you're talking about, that uh, those tree lines have been taken down and uh, grubbing, and yeah. and it's pretty much cleaned out through there. So. Uh, yeah, we got a view to the south. That <laughs> can you believe that center stoplight? Look all the way down the way river. Well, a view that we really didn't know we had. <laughs> That's true. That's you know. True. So uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank the people out there for uh, being considered around the school zones, around the uh, busy oh, areas. Did y'all check that out there at the new 16th? We did check it, and Amon, well, the stop sign needs to be moved closer down as you pull off of 16th Street yeah. and exit to the left yeah. towards the Christian Academy. Yeah. We need a sign as you exit. You can see that you're in a school zone. Yeah, and thank you for. I noticed that us. the other. Day. Ooh, I'm gonna, you know because you come off the bypass, you see that. But when I made that left, I thought, yeah. oh my goodness, I'm already in the school zone. I better slow down. Yeah, yeah. Even though well, it was, I think it was when was it? during the county fair or something. I think we talked about. that. Yes, it was. It was. Uh, and I went out and looked at it, and Eamon looked at it, and he's going to move that sign down so you can still see it coming off the bypass. Yeah. But you can see it as you exit off That's of 16th good. Street yeah. to to the north there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, 16th Street is complete. It's striped now. The uh, oh, really? the sidewalk on the uh, yeah. on the south side is is complete. Or with uh, the last time I was out there, they was right at the end of it. So I'm I'm pretty sure it's complete. They was going back and starting to dress it up. But yeah. uh, you know, Limbrier Waverly looks good. Getting that completed. Yes, they're Head going down trail and all that. I tell you, our 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 street guys uh, do do a great job out there and. Uh, they do it from scratch, you know. They start and redo a street, and every street we rebuild, we're trying to make sure we get a sidewalk. If it didn't have a sidewalk, at least wow. one sidewalk on it, so that uh, uh, the other thing going on, uh, the uh, the work at McCabe Park. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we just need to talk about that. Folks, okay. People don't really, uh, uh, you don't know what the city inherited there when uh, the Baker family gave us that 42 acres. That we've gotten it now cleared up enough and dale i'd love to take you out there sometime and just yeah, let you see, see the potential that we have out there but uh this is across from the new harps across from the new harps West. It's, yes 42.6 acres and we've got a road built in it's not paved or you know anything it's roughed in and the truck traffic has been hauling out there for uh, several weeks now uh, stockpiling material in fact we went in and put one level one layer on the lower part wow. and uh uh, that is material that uh, in the construction site that, that was talking about off of 201 South, they've also been hauling material out there huh. uh, for us. Uh, just they had to get rid of it, and that's yeah. a close place. So it's a perfect time to uh, get those fields, uh, get material out, and uh, it, it's going to be nice out there. I'm telling Number you this. Park, a, there's going to be a softball park? It's going to be a four-field uh, softball park. It's going to be – we've got uh, – 5.4 acres of, of uh, ponds or actually small lakes for fishing mm -hmm. and, uh, that will hopefully partnership with the Game and Fish to uh, set up fishing for uh, maybe for uh, for sure for the kids, maybe for the handicapped, and, and even have some for uh, fly fishing. Yeah. Uh, this, the potential is endless. The potential, right yeah. And big trees. There's some big trees out <laughs> there. If they could talk, that you know, they could tell a they could tell a they tell story. To, they could give us the history of Mountain Home where those trees are sitting out there because they're right, you know, right yeah. in, right in it. But uh, uh, so, how do we, you know, that's going to be a big kick for Mountain Home because when you start bringing in softball tournament after softball tournament for say a Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh yeah, with see with what we have and, and with those additional fields, it not only enhances the softball tournaments thing. But we we're going to convert one of the fields out at uh, out at uh, at uh, Willette, uh, Crystal Willette yeah. Park into a softball field, uh -huh. which will give us an, an additional softball field. So actually, it's going to complement what we're trying to do Good. in the softball and the baseball arenas there. Wow. So uh, yes, and I tell you, in talking with some of the people, we've got some great events coming up this this oh, yeah. 2016. You've probably heard about them, but uh, I'm. 
you know. The Brit, that's money in the bank, folks. Well, I've just got to say this. Uh, you know, the BASS, B-A-S-S tournament is scheduled here for, uh, I think, uh, April, like, 21 through 24 mm-hmm. or, or in yeah. that in that area. And this is this is as big as it gets. And they're going to be coming here and fishing uh, Bull Shoals and Norfolk Lake. Wow. And but where do you think they're going to be staying? Basically, yeah, Mountain you know, Home, Arkansas. Where is the way in? It hits at ASU Mountain Home, right Ooh. here. Our, uh, you know, a very center piece for the for our community. Wow. And we're going to, ha- but we're going to be having those those top notch uh, professional fishermen coming in here and fishing our lakes. And I'm asking the people right now, let's get prepared to do a big welcome for these people. This and is going to be national. It'll through. be. It, I think it's nationally televised. That would be an ESPN thing about I, I, it. Or it wow. It is something that if we had to go out and to buy this kind of uh, advertising or promotion, uh, we couldn't do it. No. Uh, but we've got, uh, and thanks to uh, the A&P Commission, they've been working on it. And uh, I know Rick Pierce, uh, one of our council people, on that commission, been working. Uh, all of them have been working. Uh, he's kind of letting us know what's happening, he and uh, Mrs. Osmond. Mm-hmm. Uh, or on the uh, A&P, and, but they're putting some seed money into this, and that's where that particular advertising Boy. promotion, that's the A&P, uh, that is putting money back in to bring events here that uh, otherwise we probably wouldn't be getting. Visit Mayor Joe Dillard. Need to take a quick break? Be right back. 7.50, continue our discussion with Mayor Joe Dillard. And, uh, wow, McKay Park, it's going to be nice. 42.6 acres, going to be softball fields. Uh, we discussed it one time, maybe uh, having some camper hookups out there, perhaps for folks that well, you bring know, in a camper or something. Dale, this the the uh, the options are are many out yeah. there, and uh, this is the time that we uh, we actually need to. And we've been, uh, and I think I told you, uh, but we sent out a little survey to the third grade, the sixth grade, the ninth grade, and twelfth grade at school, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, to get their input and. Hey, I've got a stack of input, uh, a lot of input back from wh- what those different ages would like to see in the new park. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I also told them, we, you know, you'll get 100 requests or wants out there, but uh, we can only fund so many and, mm-hmm. and probably uh, only a few uh, at least. But I think we've got room to, if we get a plan together, then we can add to as we get as money becomes available or unless we until we get a sponsor to actually sponsor something out there. Hmm. So uh, we're, uh, but I, 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 I do want to take you out there and just, <laughs> so you'll know the potential, so you can help me over the radio, uh, out into radio land, uh, let the people know what we actually have out there. It, it's great. It's going to be nice. Yeah. We're in the process of doing our budget for this year, and uh, uh, that's always a busy challenge. time. It's a challenge, and, uh, and money's, uh, you know, we've gotten some new money in, but a uh, dollar don't go very far anymore, so we're going to have to stretch it and leverage it the best we can. And uh, I always try to have a budget ready to, before the end of the year and to hopefully the council. And uh, we will be working very closely with our council and committees as we uh, work through this process. Uh, and, well, if these fuel prices stabilize, that will help on the patrol cars and fire trucks. Well, and it, it, it has helped this year, and we've actually got some – We'll have what I call a little leftover money in, in those kind of categories, which will be startup money for this year, yeah. and, and that really really helps your uh, new your new budget that you're working on when you can roll some money into that was wasn't used and not used for those purposes. Uh, having uh, good gas prices is a that's a good deal. Mm-hmm. You bet. Uh, what about West End development? I know you know got the new Harps Bank and then got McCabe Park out there. What do you foresee five, ten years down the road over there, Mayor? Well, you know what? Uh, I've, I've tried to look at that, and uh, I think uh, traditionally in the past, our growth has been to the east. Mm-hmm. Uh, Walmart, uh, It's we all know that. It's, that draws people from all over. The west is, uh, I think, we're going to see development out there. Uh, we've seen some already. Uh, I know ultimate uh, uh, Vehicle people have done a great job. Uh, well, the new dealership's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah. yeah We've got the new technical yeah. college where the old GMC used yeah. to be out across from Plumley Tire. Uh, We've got the new Harps. We've got uh, a new RVS bank right there is, mm-hmm. at the entrance nearly yeah. to the college. 
And as the park develops out there, I think that's going to send a message to our our people that uh, you know, hey, the west end of town is a, is a great area to look at and to develop. We've got all kinds of utilities out there, so it can be done uh, easily from a utility standpoint. We just have a another nice big restaurant chain come in. Well, you know, if you look, you really don't have. Uh, on that end of town, so it's wide open for it uh, is. Uh, for first restaurants. Come, first and, serve. Yeah. yeah, and I can tell you, once that park's developed, there'll be a there'll one be of something. the one of the things on our list that we want is is really good bathroom facilities and a good concession stand mm -hmm. uh, to accommodate those fields, and uh, and we want good you know bathroom facilities and pavilions in the park at different areas too. But uh, that area is primed to grow. And it's uh, it's inside. It's been already inside the city. Yeah. That, uh, wow. And uh, so, uh, I don't think it'll be long till we see we'll see activity out there. And uh, you know, it doesn't take. And I think Harps may have anchored the area by the the money they spent on that new store. Beautiful facility. You know? It is. Yeah. 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 And the old one seems to be doing well too. Yeah. That, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Down to a minute and a half, Mayor. What else can we talk about real quick? A minute and a half. Well, I just want to recap maybe the the bridge bash that, w that happened uh, last uh, last weekend. Last weekend. The the twenty six. What well, the twenty sixth of? Yeah, it'd be two weeks ago. Saturday. Two weeks ago. Yeah. But you know we haven't talked, but it's a great event. They accomplished uh, uh, what their goal was, and a lot of people participating. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this weekend, it's not here in, in Mountain Home or Baxter County, but the turkey trot is oh, happening right. over at Yellville. Uh, and we get people into Yellville, we're going to get a lot of those people over here into Mountain Home and doing things and shopping and looking. And and so uh, we got some good events coming. The fall colors, I actually seen my first yesterday. Really? It was on the North Hill side, and it was near a stream. But Good indication. But you can see, yes, it, I, I nearly stopped, but I... I was in traffic and couldn't, but I I, mm. I looked at it and and the and the you could see the orange and the red and the the different colors starting to come out, you know. So <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> well, I love the fall colors. I think we'll have a great year. I uh, do too. You know, uh, it, it, I hope this last month of really extreme dry without much rain. Uh, I hope that doesn't hurt it, but yeah. uh, it, that might even help it. You no, know, that's so good. I think we'll be good. Thanks. Mayor, appreciate you being here today, visiting with our mayor, Joe Dillard. Appreciate his work and uh, his dedication to the city. That wraps it up. We'll be back tomorrow. Hope you have a great day, everybody. We'll see you then.